I'm going to say this right out of the gate, that this is not going to be your typical laptop review. I'm not going to get into processors and chips, test processing speed, or any of that. So if that's what you're looking for, tune out now because this is not the review for you. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and the reason I'm not getting into all that is because I'm not an expert in laptops or PCs for that matter. But when I was offered a chance to try out LG's new impossibly light and huge screened Gram laptop, I didn't want to let the opportunity slip by. You see, I'm a Mac user by choice in most of my work life, but I was issued a Dell PC for some other work. The Dell is a small, fat, and heavy tank of a machine, so I wanted to see what's new in the PC world. I'd also heard some really great things about this laptop. So what I'm going to do here is share some of the basics and my overall feelings about this laptop and its promises. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give me a sub because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. Getting this laptop set up is easy enough because I was treating it as a new laptop with no data to move over that helped a lot. Now, since this device was only on loan to me for a few days and would later be shared with others, I wasn't willing to put a bunch of personal info on it either. The LG Gram offers fingerprint identification via a small sensor embedded in the power button. A few touches to enable it and I was ready to unlock the computer in a snap. Let's talk about the design and the hardware of this laptop. It really is impossibly light. It doesn't weigh a gram exactly, more like about three pounds, but that is significantly lighter than any other laptop I've ever used, particularly given its huge screen size. I was debating about whether the laptop feels cheap because it's so light. It's also got a lot of flexibility to it. I felt better though about the lightweight feel when I read that the Gram passed seven military grade tests for durability, including rigorous tests for shock, low pressure, high and low temperature, dust incursion, and more. The LG Gram is also extremely thin. It's going to fit easily in any laptop, bag, tote, or backpack. The huge crystal clear 17 inch screen is something else. The screen has 2560 by 1600 resolution, and for you and me, that means the screen is really sharp. It's twice the resolution of some other monitors or laptop monitors that you'll find. It lies somewhere between Full HD and 4K, so you should also notice really clear images and vivid colors. It's got a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which allows you to see more information easily without scrolling. The screen is definitely a treat to watch and it's vibrant and easy on the eyes. If you wanted to watch a whole movie on here, that would be A-OK. -okay. When using it to edit documents, the text leaps off the page. Even when you're using smaller fonts, it's easy to read. One thing worth noting though, is that you will need a Microsoft Outlook license in order to use apps like Word. When it comes to watching videos, it's a great screen for a laptop. I checked out some music videos and TV and think this would be a great little portable entertainment unit too. The Gram also has a wide backlit keyboard, full number keypad, trackpad, and decent speakers. I can definitely say the sound quality is impressive. I feel like it leans a bit towards the high end and can sound tinny, but you're not buying a laptop for its abilities to mimic surround sound now, are you? It's also easy enough to type on this keyboard. The keys are comfortable to type on and not too clicky. Someone on Instagram pointed out to me the trackpad isn't centered under the space bar on the keyboard. As a righty, I didn't find this problematic, but you lefties out there might. The battery life is pretty impressive and LG says it's more than enough to last all day. The battery is supposed to deliver up to 17 hours of power, making it really great for travel. The LG Gram still has plenty of options when it comes to physical connections. On one side, there's an AC power port, USB, HDMI, and a Thunderbolt port, which you can use for a bunch of different things, including charging. On the other end, there's two more USB ports, a headphone jack, micro SD card reader, and a security lock. As an Apple user, I was concerned about how much connectivity I would be able to get between my iPhone and the Gram. After all, iPhones are made to match up with MacBooks, not with PCs. I was glad to see that I could back up files and share them across devices with Microsoft OneDrive. OneDrive is essentially a cloud storage system that gives you access to all your files from all of your different devices. So having this on the iPhone and on the Gram makes file and photo sharing a lot easier, I was very pleased to find. The Gram also has a feature called Find My Device, which lets you use your device's location to help you find it if you lose it or if it ends up stolen. 
you do have to be signed into Windows with your Microsoft account to use this feature. Now this is by no means a new or revolutionary feature, but it is an important one that does let you track down a lost or misplaced or stolen laptop. You can also get easy access to web searches from any window. A small web search bar along the bottom of the screen is always ready and waiting for you. Overall, from a consumer perspective, I really liked my LG Gram experience. I think this is an outstanding laptop for people who travel a lot just based on the weight and the thinness alone. Uh, it's also got that great screen, so if you end up doing a lot of video work uh, in your line of work, it's perfect for you. It's lightweight, streamlined, has that great screen, and it looks and sounds great overall. It is really great for working and for entertainment as well. Any downsides I found had more to do with my own need for compatibility with devices I already have. Chances are if you're shopping for a PC, you already know what you needed to do and what you're getting into. The Gram costs between $15.99 and $21.99 depending on the configuration and options you choose with it. If you want to read more about it, head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full blog and you can ask me any questions you have about the Gram either there on the blog or as always here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. You can check me out on Instagram or Twitter until the next video. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always reach me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.